Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're going to be fitting the hydraulic clutch conversion kit from Retrofication. So let me just show you what I mean by that and what's the reason for me doing it. So in the caddy at the moment, you've got the clutch pedal. Uh, initially, it ran on a clutch cable, which would go to the top over there uh, and to the gearbox. So when you press it, uh, it would pull the clutch cable uh, and then release the clutch. As I've got an O2J gearbox uh, in the caddy at the moment, I need to be able to release the clutch, but it works with a slave cylinder in this hole over here. That will enable you to be able to press the clutch pedal uh, and then push or pull the clutch away, uh, depending on what you're doing. So let me just show you inside what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be mounting the master cylinder up here um, and then we're going to be putting the reservoir somewhere in the engine bay rooting the pipes through so let me show you the kit uh, and everything that you get inside of it so in the kit you get the weld on bracket so this bracket has two holes here uh, a little cut out over here and this will go around the steering column uh, you got the bolts for the mounting plate um, you've also got a return spring over here, a clevis pin uh, with two washers and a split pin. You've got the reservoir for the fluid, brake hoses. This one is braided stainless steel uh, and it comes with the correct fittings for the ends of it. Uh, the normal hose again. And then over here you've got the master cylinder. This one will be mounted onto this plate over here and go underneath the steering column. And then we've got the slave cylinder which will go on the actual box so i also got the accelerator pedal mount from retrofication as well so the pedal i've got uh, is this one over here so the pedal won't fit without the mount uh, let me just take it over to the caddy and i'll show you it's going to go somewhere in this area at the moment there's no way of me mounting it because it doesn't really sit flush against the back so what retrofication have come up with is this mounting plate over here so that will go against the firewall something like that and then the pedal will go directly on top of it uh, and then bolt onto it but i'll show you how to fit that and i'm also going to show you how to fit the hydraulic clutch kit today so the first step is going to be getting off the steering rack uh, and then i'll get it over there so we can have a better look uh, and i can show you exactly step by step how to do it So now the steering column is off, the first step that you want to do is take off the clutch pedal. So you want to lift up this clip here uh, and then pull the clutch pedal off. So now you've got the clutch pedal off, the first thing you want to do is remove this extra piece of metal here. So use a grinder and cut that off. Also remove the paint from both sides. got the extra piece of metal cut off you want to get the clevis pin put it this direction tack weld around here and then check if it's steady if it is then weld it all the way around so now the clevis pin has been welded in the next step is putting the spring in so what you want to do is drill a three to four millimeter hole in this area here so the spring can attach there also what you want to do is grind both edges to a point so when you put the spring in it doesn't bind to the clutch pedal so again three to four millimeter hole and grind both edges to a point do is get the mounting bracket get two of the bolts and put them in like this 
and then weld around both of the bolt. Okay, so now you've got the bolts welded in to the mounting plate. What you want to do is drill out the two holes on the master cylinder uh, to eight millimeter. So you're able to slide the bolts through uh, and then tighten them up. So the next step, what you want to do is get the clutch pedal, slide it on and then push it all the way back so it hits the rubber stop over here and then get a zip tie around here and tighten it all the way up so the pedal is stuck all the way up and hitting the bump stop then what you want to do is put one washer onto the clevis pin over here get the master cylinder and the mounting bracket slide it on like that and slide the master cylinder on the clevis pin here then you want to make sure it's extended out all of the way what you want to do now is make a note mark around the steering column where this mounting bracket is going to be welded on so you want to mark it out all the way around and then remove all of the paint in that section so you can weld around the mountain bracket so i've got the area cleaned down where i'm gonna weld the mountain plate but before i weld it on i'm just gonna spray the inside with some weld through primer uh, and over here just so it will stop it from rusting on the inside later down the line so the weld through primer that i'm using is this one here it's quite a good brand compared to what i've used uh, in the past but yeah I'm just going to give that a quick spray and then weld that on. So I've just put the steering column in the car. I've done a couple of tacks on the mounting plate and I'm just testing out if it works okay and it seems to be working fine there's no problems with it here's how it looks on the side and it's all working quite smooth so what i'm going to do now is take the master cylinder off and then weld the plate on properly the reason why i don't want to damage uh, the rubbers inside of it uh, and also it's recommended that you take it off anyway so i'm just going to whip it off uh, and then weld around here and then give the welds a bit of a clean then pop it back in and see if everything's okay. So the next step is fitting the brake fluid reservoir. So that will go in the engine bay somewhere and we'll move on to that now. And then fitting in the slave cylinder and the hydraulic pipe. So first let's get on with fitting this. So what I've done, I've drilled a hole on this side over here and I put a nut set in. So what that means is I can mount this reservoir like this over here. But as you can see, if you put a screw in, it will be hitting the side. So I've come up with a solution. I've got a bolt and some plastic spacers. So let me just show you how that goes on. So I've got the reservoir. And I'm just going to put the spacers on this side over here and then feed it through and then tighten it up just like this. Then just hold it in the direction that I want and then tighten it up. So now if you see it, it's mounted straight and it doesn't hit the side because there's a gap so you can just unscrew it like so and then fill it up when you need to. So the next step is getting a pipe from the back of the reservoir through the hole over here and then into the inside so i'm just getting the reservoir and then i'm going to push the pipe on and as you can see the clips that i've got over here they're a little bit too big with the pipe as i'm mounting the reservoir and the engine bay over here the pipe that's supplied in the kit isn't long enough so i had to buy some extra pipe 
and I made sure it's the correct pipe for brake fluid as I've read online if you use normal fuel hose it will sort of eat away the pipe so I bought some different one so yeah I'll still do the install but I'll get these changed over uh, in the future just so you guys can see how it's done so what I'll do now I'll just feed the pipe through and I'll get in the position where it's going to be permanently So the next step is putting the hydraulic line in so this has to go to the slave cylinder which goes over there there's a little hole so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna route it through the grommet over here the same one as the wiring loom just to keep it all tidy so then it will come through on the other side just back here somewhere and then go to the right hand side for the steering column so i've only put one fit in on one side at the moment just so i can push this side through the grommet so I'll show you putting on the other fitting once I get it through into the car. So you want to push this fitting on all the way and if you look inside you can see the piece of plastic then what you want to do is get this piece and sort of push it in to the piece of plastic then as you can see there's a little bit here that will sort of push in and then you'll feel it go into the plastic sometimes it's a little bit hard so what you can do is get the vise and make sure you don't put it directly into the vise as if you damage these it might sort of ruin the seal then get your fitting and push it in then what you want to do is start tightening it down like this and then use a spanner to tighten it up all the way into this snug so now it's the same as the other side you want to get the washer put it over it then slide it on here, put the other washer on and then bolt it up to this side on the master cylinder. So that's it, so that's the hydraulic line connected and then you've got the brake fluid reservoir that comes from over here. So what I'm going to do now, I've just realised that the hydraulic line is way too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shorten it down, so tuck it behind here and then straight up to here like that so i just need to cut a little bit off it uh, and then reconnect it up and then also with this brake fluid reservoir i'm gonna tuck that behind over here uh, and then cut it shorter so let me get on with doing that and then i'll show you the final result also i've given the steering column a quick lick of paint once i've done that we'll have to install the adapter for the brake light and also the accelerator pedal. So now the hydraulic clutch conversion has been fitted, it's time to move on with getting the accelerator pedal mounted. So what this does, you can use this hole over here and you line that up to the original accelerator pedal. So that will sort of bolt on like that. And if you look at the top, there's already a hole there so i think the original accelerator pedal cable went through there so this top hole will go through there and the bolt will go through it and then i've got two more holes on this side over here so what i'm thinking i'm just going to drill one hole into the body uh, and then put a bolt through it um i don't think i would need to but i'll see once i've done that one if it's still a bit wobbly then i'll drill another hole uh, and also all of these other holes over here are for when you put the accelerator pedal on as you can see they line up perfectly so the first step that I'm going to do I'm just going to bolt the pedal to the bracket uh, and then quickly test fit it onto the holes over here and then mark out where I need to drill the hole and then drill it through
Okay, so what I've done, I've just given it a coat of paint and I've drilled the hole and I've just given a little bit of paint in the hole so it doesn't rust inside. So now I'm gonna bolt everything together, seeing as all of the holes are ready. Uh, so I'm gonna mount the pedal first, tying it all down properly uh, and then mount it to the car. And then we're all done with the accelerator pedal. So the pedal's in now and it's all bolted up at the top. I've also got it plugged in and then I've zip tied it to a little tab over here and I've also zip tied the pipe for the reservoir so looking at the pedal it presses down all good and it doesn't shake or wobble which is good so it feels quite solid and then if I just go into the engine bay you can see there's one bolt here and then one down there which go to the two mounts uh, and they have washers on it as well so it it nicely that's all of the clutch conversion and the brake pedal in and also I don't know if I mentioned I made a bracket for the brake switch so what I'd done if I show you guys I drilled a hole and then made the same shape as the actual switch so you can go in like this and then twist and turn and lock in and once the all of the brakes are connected it will push it like that so which means it's off and then when you press the brake it releases the switch and then the light will come on i also just mounted it to the steering column there was already a hole there with a thread in it so i just put a bolt through it that's all the kit done and i'm happy because i've got one job out of the way now so that's just one job ticked off on the caddy I just wanted to say we're on the road to 1k subscribers so if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I post also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you'll see updates on the caddy that I don't post on the YouTube channel anyway guys thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one